we're fully on our backs. But instead, we're withdrawing from them before the collapse is complete, so they collapse first. That's basically what I'm getting to. Now, we don't have much time left in this segment, uh, but we are going to be breaking all of this down more in the broadcast today with special guest Dr. Mercola, uh, Anthony Bucciardi, and more. And I'll be back with more special reports. And then I'll be live this Sunday, this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, even though it's holiday weekend. Stay with us. That's right. Alex just broke it down, and we do have more news as well as Alex's powerful message to Louis Farrakhan. You will not believe what he said. You have to watch this later on in the show. We'll be back with more news. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm Anthony Gucciardi sitting in for Alex Jones. And as Alex described in the last segment, we will perish for lack of knowledge. And speaking of knowledge, I have a solution for all of the hate between Black Lives Matter protesters killing cops and some cops killing Black Lives Matter protesters. I have the ultimate solution, and it has to do with knowledge. I suggest that all of them go back to kindergarten. If they were to go back to kindergarten, they would have learned to respect one another at the most basic levels of human instinct. They would have learned that tweeting kill all white people is probably not in the best interest of their own or of the species as a whole. If they were to go back to kindergarten, which could, by the way, probably be taught by a 12-year-old boy, they would understand that murdering each other is not going to further any race equality. In fact, the very origin of Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter is the first indication that such a movement is going to actually cause racial divide. Because what's the first word? Black. Black Lives Matter. They're making it more of an issue they're now saying to go out and murder white people. That is not race equality. And the article Alex was talking about in the last segment when he eloquently broke it down was on Infowars.com right now. Black Lives Matter activists arrested for quote unquote kill all white people tweet. Suspect charged with threats of mass violence. And the article reads police in La Plata, Maryland have arrested a man after he posted a tweet calling for the murder of white people in the town. Specifically, it goes on, the 20-year-old Charles Hollins was charged Wednesday on a $250,000 bond. He tweeted, quote, tonight we purge. Kill all the white people in the town of La Plata. Tonight we purge. Let's kill all the white people. Do you see how a kindergarten education could fix that? A fundamental realization that at the most core levels of our human value system, not, not, even, not even a first grade, second grade, kindergarten, the most core levels of our value system, if we wanted all lives to matter, would be to say, hey, let's unify. Let's come together. Who cares about the skin color? We're all the same human being. We're all the same creature on this planet trying to manifest our destiny, which is 100% true. And that's why we have a video also today from Senator Tim Scott. And he had the audacity to say that all lives matter. Oh, my God. Cue the Hillary laughing pen. How dare he say that all lives matter? How bad? What a bad person. Only black lives matter, apparently. And he said, hey, if that's a, that offends you, if all lives matter offends you, that's your problem. Let's uh, play that video from CNN. We'll cue it up here in a second. But the point is, all lives do matter. And the biggest issue is when they make it a marginalized issue of all black lives matter. And we see what that gets. Second article here continue on what Alex was speaking on last segment. Senator Tim Scott, if all lives matter really offends you, that's your problem. We're queuing up the video. On CNN tonight, Scott told Brianna Keeler, if it causes offense to say that all lives matter, black lives, white lives, police officers, if that is somehow offensive to someone, that's their issue, not mine. I 100% agree because all police lives do matter. And to marginalize the system with black lives matter is further causing the problem. But to get away from We've got the clip. Let's go ahead and play that clip. That if it causes offense that I say that all lives matter, black lives, white lives, police officers, uh, jurists, uh, all of us, even politicians, all of our lives matter. If that is somehow offensive to someone, that's their issue, not mine, to be honest with you. At the end of the day, what we have to do in this country... Now, I think we've seen it over the last couple of years. We've seen a regression in race relations. One of the ways that we move this country forward 
is to talk about what we have in common, to find common ground on issues, and to look into the future together, to face our challenges, the hiccups, the potholes, the walls, and make sure that we're working together to either fill them or to remove them. How when that dare happens, he? Our He's not helping the racial divide by saying only black lives matter? What a bad person. Now, wait a minute, he's black too? You mean he's actually smart and he's saying we should all be together because we're the same exact human being? Oh my God. And guess what? We're going to come back with Dr. McCullough, talk about health solutions, ways, ways you can take control of your own health, some of the issues he sees on the forefront. And also we're going to talk about Democrats in Congress refuse to watch videos exposing Planned Parenthood selling aborted babies. Well, gee, maybe that's why they're not doing anything about it. They won't even watch the videos. Clinton aid refusing to cooperate with FBI probe observer. Stay tuned. Dr. McCall is coming up. And Alex Jones later in the show responds with a powerful message to Louis Farrakhan. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm Anthony Gucciardi. Delighted to sit in for Alex Jones here on the program. And it is your support that makes all of this possible. We're about to talk to Dr. McCullough on some ways to transform your health, real solutions at an individual level, some of the things he thinks are the most important. Later in the show, Alex is going to actually release a powerful message to Louis Farrakhan that you do not want to miss. This will be later on the program. First and foremost, this segment of the show and really everything at Infowars.com and The Alex Jones Show is brought to you by your support. It is brought to you by you. The world is being changed by your financial support at InfoWarsLife.com. And I'm super excited to help Alex promote these products because they do work. And Deep Cleanse is back in limited supply. It already has hundreds of reviews with an average rating of 4.8 stars. And that's just from the first run months ago when it sold out. And it's such a small amount of bottles, I'm amazed by the amount of reviews. And Deep Cleanse at InfoWarsLife.com is really an all-in-one cleansing product designed to help the body clean itself out naturally. I think it's probably going to be the new flagship product uh, based on the reaction of people and the things they're saying. I'm going to read a review right now from InfoWarsLife.com on Deep Cleanse. It says, this is from J Jose from Martinsburg. This product is fantastic. The Sheila Jeetan is an amazing ingredient, and I'm glad that InfoWars takes the time to produce great products. I've recommended all my family and friends to try this remarkable product. Good job, guys. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you. And yes, the Sheila Jeet is truly an insane ingredient. It actually comes from the Himalayan rocks. And when they quote unquote breathe or sweat, it produces Sheila Jeet. So it takes a long time for these rocks to kind of uh, create that Sheila Jeet. Another one from Sean in Ohio was really wondering about the deep cleanse product and was rather shocked with the result. I had a great influx of awareness at about day four. Brain fog gone. Day two did have some sickness from detoxing, but only lasted one day. Other than that, love the results and we'll do a rotation every week to stay balanced. Well, thank you, Sean in Ohio. Infowarslife.com. Check out the products. There's a lot. Deep Cleanse is back in stock. Now, we're going to go to Dr. McCullough and we're going to talk about the ways we are winning. We're going to talk about solutions. We're going to talk about a number of different items. But first and foremost, as you probably know, Dr. Joseph McCullough is obviously a doctor of osteopathic medicine. Dr. This is a little bit from his website. Dr. McCullough has been passionate about health and technology for most of his life. As a doctor of osteopathic medicine, he treated many thousands of patients over 20 years. In the mid-90s, he integrated his passion for natural health with modern technology through the Internet. And, of course, Mercola.com is now the largest natural health website in the world. Dr. Mercola, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Anthony. So first and foremost, I want to ask you what's on your radar. I want to know what the number one health topic for you is right now. Well, I don't know if we singled out any specific one other than helping people understand the massive corruption that's available in the industries that seek to de deceive and manipulate their uh, uh, understanding of the reality so that they are uh, not able to make intelligent choices about how to control their health. Right, and that seems prevalent. It's, it seems like everywhere you turn, you have a Monsanto or you have a General Mills sure. or you have a Kraft. And it seems like so many people at the same time, though, are really awakening to all of these issues from so many different fronts, with the political front, with the economic front, to the health front. Do you think that we're really making a lot of progress? Oh, we're definitely making progress. Uh, you can just see <clears throat> what's happened recently with respect to, uh, well, Monsanto. Let's take Monsanto, for example, one of the most pernicious evils on the planet, who has uh, 
understands that they that their name has been associated with uh, you know de- de- definitely negative public perception so in their effort to change that they sought out to buy Syngenta last week initially offered them 42 billion that's billion with a b billion dollars and that wasn't enough Syngenta said back said we need 5% more so they upped their offer to 47 billion dollars not only that they gave them a 7 dollar 7 billion dollar poison pill so the FTC decided that they could and join, Syngenta would get $7 billion. Unfortunately, or, or fortunately, Syngenta's board of directors wisely decided to not go for that deal, which was a major victory because that would have been a disaster. So that's a good one. Right. And Monsanto lost $128 million last fourth quarter in 2014. Yeah, I think they've been down 35%. Yeah, they're continually down, just like McDonald's and Subway and so on and so forth. And they're trying to buy Syngenta because Syngenta, I think, is even a next step above Monsanto. Syngenta is what we're going to be hearing about in the next couple of years with their biopharmaceutical crops, all the stuff they're doing in the medical field that even trumps, in many ways, what Monsanto is doing. So it's almost like a little evil baby trying to swallow up a Goliath of Syngenta, which, is, which I think will be even bigger on the forefront. And speaking about GMOs and Monsanto... I have some headlines here. I also noticed on Mercola.com you have a good headline is the public health ramifications of GMOs and herbicides. And I also want to get into your story on the new scientific analysis which concern, can confirm uh, saturated fats have no link to heart disease, which is something you've been talking about for, what, decades now. And I yeah, know well, you were under fire. Definitely over about, about close to two year, 20 years. Yeah, and I mean you were under fire for that for so many years. I mean you had so many attacks and now they're all being forced to admit you were 100% right. How does that I mean how many times does that happen? It seems like it happens over and over again, doesn't it? Well, it happens pretty regularly. Uh, it's it's a consistent pattern uh, and they're just it's it's not necessarily related to health. It's just uh, anyone who's in, opposed to the traditional way of thinking in any field uh, undergoes this the same type of reaction. But if you're careful and you're objective and you critically analyze the data, it's pretty clear uh, that uh, what the direction of health should be. So, You know, it reminds uh, me also, set, sorry, sorry. I, want, I want you to finish the second here, but it reminds me also in the vein of being right and being proven right, the study from the New York Daily News that cell phone radiation is actually giving you brain tumors. And uh -huh. I'm sure you were speaking about that years and years ago, and as was I, and I remember sitting in a doctor's office one time speaking to somebody about it. And they said, you're one of those conspiracy theorists that doesn't use their cell phone all the time, aren't you? And I said, well, yeah, it's not good to put your cell phone up to your brain at all times for hours and hours a day. It, it microwaves your brain. It gives you brain tumors, electromagnetic well, radiation. That's been, yeah, even the World Health Organization in 2011, they classified uh, cell phone radiation as a class 2B carcinogen, which means uh, possible human carcinogen. And, and glyphosate was uh, just last year classified as a class 2A, which means probable human carcinogen. So, uh, you know, it's definitely, and, and the other important thing to consider about glyphosate or, is that it's the main ingredient of Roundup, but uh, there's a number of experts, I mean, true scientific gurus who really, this is their whole life study, and when they look at it, like Dr. Don Huber, Dr. Seralini, and they look at it carefully, Roundup, the ingredient that's actually sprayed on the crops, is far more toxic than glyphosate. It's because of the surfactants they put in there, which which are even more uh, pernicious to health. So it's, it's it's a pretty nasty situation. Right. And like you said, the World Health Organization has already classified Roundup as a probable carcinogen because of its glyphosate. Nope. Yes, because of its glyphosate, which Monsanto owns anyway. So they just make a mega dose version of it. They make like a glyphosate on steroids. And that is, of course, what's sprayed on all the GMO crops. And then even if you argue, oh, maybe GMOs are safe because of the manipulation, it might only cause sterility in the next few generations or some crazy argument, right? Well, it's the roundup that's also giving you the cancer. But the reason I also mentioned the cell phone thing is because there was a new study that came out today that your cell phone screens could be giving you skin cancer. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. So speaking of all the things that are giving us cancer and killing us, my whole thing is as long as you're making an effort, as long as you're trying to eat organic, as long as you're trying to avoid the toxic fillers, drinking purified water, taking the right supplements, you're better off than about 99.9% .9 of the public, I believe. And I think it's, it's impossible to avoid everything. So what are your most key tips to give everyone listening right now on ways that you can really avoid all the toxic fillers and try and take your health into your own hands? Well, it's really quite simple. The three simple words is to eat real food. Uh, and that's a pretty comprehensive statement because 
when you eat real food, you avoid processed foods, and processed foods have tens of thousands of chemicals that don't even have to be labeled because they've been categorized by industry trade groups as, as grass or generally recognized as safe, even though they've never been tested for human safety. So you avoid all these tens of thousands of chemicals if you eat real food. Someone, either yourself, your spouse, or someone you pay needs to 